Hello and welcome to Backstage Buzz, where today you will get the inside story on Buffalo Theatre Ensemble's production of Into the Earth with You by Brian Watkins. Today I'm here with director Kurt Nabig to tell us about this production that's opening in May. Welcome, Kurt. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So tell us about this show. What What is it that would make somebody need to get out of the couch Turn off the TV and come see this play. Well, it's an exciting play. It's a world premiere. Our, uh, we've got five ensemble members in it, and it is a, uh, a family dramedy with uh, suspense, mystery, and a little ghostly visitation to boot. Everybody loves a good ghost. Yes, I do. <laughs> you got any around here? <laughs> well, sometimes. So, Kurt, is, is this a show? Tell us a little bit about the show. Well. Um, I found the show, I was at a Juilliard reunion and one of the playwrights in residence was doing a reading of a scene with three women and it was funny, it was passionate, it was heartfelt and it was a little bit creepy and I thought what the heck is that? So I asked for a copy, got it, read it and brought it to Connie and Amelia immediately. It has one of the most uh, exciting and surprising moments on stage I've ever read in my life. So that was one of the things that drew me to this. I went, oh my gosh, nobody is gonna expect this. This is gonna be such a surprise. And I, I remember seeing plays like that where intermission would hit and the entire audience would go, oh my gosh. Oh my I love that. That's what I think we have here. So is it kind of a thriller? Yes, yes, Yay. a little bit of a thriller. Okay, yeah. so, you got a little, so you got some comedy, but it's got a thriller twist. Exactly. Love it. Those are fun. Yeah. And so tell us about the cast. Is there, is there some ensemble members we know? So we've got, yes, uh, we've got uh, Lisa Dawn Curran, we've got Laura Leonardo Ownby, Kelly Walker, uh, Robert Bailey, and Norm Waddell. Oh, strong cast. Yeah, it's a great cast. Oh, fun. And where does this take place? It takes place on a mountain. It's, it feels very contemporary, but it's in a place kind of distant from a lot of other people. And it happens uh, the day these three women's uh, grandfather died. And it begins with them arguing about what to do, which is something most families, families do. No, yeah. And, uh, but it's not, it's not depressing. It's, uh, it's fun and funny and something I think we can all kind of relate. Relate to. to. Mm -hmm. So when people are thinking about who do I bring or, cause I wanna go see this show, yeah. who, it, not for children? Or for I would children? say like uh, under 13, probably not. It might be just a little bit too scary. But okay. if you're over 13, you'll be able to handle it. Yeah. You know? Oh, so it's scary. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of a, yeah. I mean, I think like if I was 10 or 11, I would probably be going home going, oh, I don't know if I can sleep, mom. You know? So you said that you saw the show at Ju in Juilliard, at I, Juilliard, the school? I saw a reading, yeah, I, okay. I was, uh, it was a um, uh, college reunion, uh -huh. and they had some of the playwrights who were in the program showing off scenes from their plays. This guy, uh, Brian Watkins, who at the time hadn't done this, but now he is the creator and head writer of a series on Amazon called Outer Range, starring Josh Brolin. Wow. Which has elements of the supernatural, uh, it's a little bit creepy, and it feels pretty contemporary, too, so. Well, so, so you've got an incredible script. Yeah, yeah. That's really impressive. I read the script, and I was agog, and I don't often feel that way after a play. There were a couple moments I was like, one moment I was so upset at something somebody did on stage, I was like, hmm, <gasps> you know, and I thought, if I'm getting Emotionally. Angry, surprised, you know, um, on somebody's side, emotionally engaged. That's exactly the kind of play you want to do. That's so fun. And what are you challenged with most in the show? Is there anything that's, that's I, kind of like, here's the hard part? I think, I don't know if it's a hard part, but the exciting part is, I mean, the exciting part is I get to work with this great group of people, but also the couple of big moments in the show that I, that I mentioned and I cannot reveal because right, you don't want to ruin the moments. surprise. But those couple of big moments, um, there's a confluence of 
talent that is going to put this together and that's not just the actors but it's the the set designer the sound designer lighting um props it's just everything comes together in a moment that i think i know all of our designers are going to be excited about as well now is this a premiere yes world premiere and is do you and think the author will come? world premieres here, so that's super exciting. Come see it. I wonder if if the director, if the writer will come. I am hoping. That'll be interesting. I, I'm hoping to get him out. Well, I would think that he would want to see his show fully mounted, right, and produced and presented. I'm writing and to him, and I'm going to lean on him with the Juilliard connection. We went to the same school. I picked up your show. Nobody else, you know, saw what I saw. And world God. premiere. Yeah. Jeff nominated director and productions, right? Right. Throw it all in there. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show and sharing this with us, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for having me, and hey, everybody, come on out and see the show. <laughs> you won't regret it. Be sure to catch Buffalo Theater Ensemble's Into the Earth with You, which runs May 2nd through June 2nd. For tickets or more information, visit at themac.org. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you at the theater and next time on Backstage Buzz.